All right, I just moved and picked up this switch from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, paid $325 for this bundle. And it's got a screen protector on it. It looks to be pretty new. I'm not sure which model this is. Um, if it's got the better battery life or not, I'm gonna have to check that up with the serial number here soon or something. But yeah, it's got the switch. Came with Rayman Legends in the case. That's the only one that actually had the case with it, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it's got Rayman Legends Definite Edition. It's got Just Dance 2020. Pokemon Shield. <clears throat> And Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 2. And then it has 128 gigabyte, I think they said, memory card inside of it. And I think that's what this is. A little case for the card. And it came with the one of these Afterglow PDP controllers. Which is kind of cool. Lights up and everything. It didn't have the charging cord for this, so I don't know if that's just a basic USB or it's like a USB-C, I don't know. But yeah, it's got that. And then all your other stuff that comes with the Switch, the little controller dock, HDMI cord, pretty heavy duty case. It's also in decent shape in the dock itself, so. I thought for three and a quarter that wasn't too bad because I've been thinking about doing the um, getting one of these switch lights and trying to do the trade up like I've seen on the chase after the right price videos and stuff but uh, I don't know maybe I'll attempt that with this I think I'm gonna hang on to it for a few days and at least check it out see if I like it and then uh, yeah see what I can get I mean I looked up all the games. They're not worth as much as I thought. Pokemon Shield's like 45. Just Dance is about 20. Dragon Ball Z is about 15. And the Rayman's about 15 as well, so. I'd be lucky to get about 100 bucks if I sold all the games, which isn't too bad, and then I could maybe get another 30 bucks for this or something but i might just keep it i don't know i'm debating whether i'm going to keep the system in general or not because i kind of want one so i figure i've been tallying up here this is like the money i've made from the stuff i got from my brother and my friend so far i've got 165 <clears throat> with some other things I've got listed on eBay and then Facebook still, but potentially I'll be able to just make enough from all that stuff to pay for this switch. It's also another thought I had, so I don't know. I'll hold on to it for a bit, play around with it, see how it is. But for three and a quarter, I thought that was a pretty decent bundle, so thanks for watching everybody. Good luck. What's up, YouTube? It's, uh, was it Monday the 1st? June 1st. I just went and picked up this Switch Lite from Facebook. Paid $125. It's got the box, which is in good shape. Looks like it's got a little stain there, but nothing too crazy. No inserts or anything. I imagine it had, like, baggies or something in there. But, yeah, I mean, it's got the system the charging cable in the box for 125 i thought that was an excellent deal i messaged them about 15 minutes after they posted it and they got back to me and then i didn't hear from them for like an hour and i watched the post get blown up with other people asking so 
I thought I missed it, but then she got back to me and said, you know, I met up with her because she said I was the first one to message about it. So stoked on that. Haven't really decided yet. I looked on eBay and these are going for, with a box, 220 to 250 easily. So I don't know if I'm gonna just throw it on eBay and try to double my money really fast. I think that's probably my best option. I'm just a little worried about shipping it. I've been doing eBay for a while now, but I mostly stick to the games and stuff where it's easy to ship. And so far my biggest seller was the NCAA Football 14 at 155 bucks. So I don't know, I'm a little worried or nervous about shipping something that's, you know, that much more valuable. So we'll see. My other option I was considering was, I've got this on eBay by itself in the lot I got the other day, but I thought maybe I'll just throw this in with it and try and sell it locally for maybe ask for two and a quarter, or even 250. Try and do one of the trades possibly, like the retro trades I've been seeing others do. So yeah, I'm not sure yet. I just brought this home, so. And then I also just got in the mail today, a Marvel Masterpieces set three sealed uh, box here, which I paid $101.14 total with shipping. And you know, these are, I'm not super huge into the card market. I don't necessarily know what I'm gonna do with these. I kind of just bought it cause they're cool. I have a few of them myself. I actually got one of these sketch cards years ago when they first came out, a Deadpool one. And I got it in a frame on my bookshelf. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, I haven't exactly decided what I'm gonna do with this. It was packed really well, but unfortunately it still got a little bit crushed on this one corner, which, Hopefully none of the cards inside are damaged. I don't think they are because it seems like they're fairly loose packs in there But yeah um, This is kind of like a future purchase. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna open it yet Or just hang on to it for a few years Might be something that would be cool if I ever get a physical location storefront to you know have a box of cards available for purchase be really cool to get a card like that in there though the writer autograph and it does have there's one of the sketch cards in every box so that's pretty cool that you're guaranteed to get one art sketch card so yeah that's just something i thought was cool i kind of splurged on and just gonna sit on it for a while and uh yeah good luck what is up YouTube, friends, family, everybody? It's uh, June 1st, hope everybody's doing well. A lot of crazy stuff going on right now. You know, <laughs> just when you thought like things were getting better, things have uh, turned quite crazy in the last few days, but uh, I don't know. I'm still just trying to chill at home, take everything, you know, with a grain of salt, I guess. It's kind of hard right now, but some camera issues there. I thought I had it set up good. Um, but yeah, hope everybody's doing good. And I've just had a pretty excellent week myself. In the last couple days, I got two uh, Nintendo Switches off Facebook. Pretty solid deals, um, I thought. The original one I bought was not the best deal but i figure with the games and the sd card and the case and the even though it's a pdp controller or whatever it's got like the pro thing and it's actually pretty neat um so that was a good deal there i think i'm probably just gonna hold on to that for now and you know see how i like the switch before i get rid of it and then i just got the light model today on facebook i'm Gonna try my hand at maybe doing a trade for that or something. Maybe put it up on eBay, not sure yet. But I've sold some other stuff. I've been selling through some of that bundle of stuff I got from my brother and my friend. Um, 
I just got rid of the Wii yesterday. Just the, I cleaned it up a little bit. I tested it, everything worked. The eject button was a little sticky, but it still worked fine. And I just bundled that up with like five game filler titles I already had from a previous bundle that I made my money back on. So the games were free and I gave it with one remote, two nunchucks, all the hookups and the charging case thing or the charging controller charger. I got $60 cash for that, which is not an awesome deal, but considering I got it for free, it was really cool. Um, so I just shout out again to my brother Justin and my friend Danny Proudfoot for hooking me up with all that stuff. I've really appreciated it. It's been like super cool to have things this week to just go through and test and clean and it's been keeping me busy and getting me some money going so it's cool uh i'm supposed to meet somebody today to sell the xbox 360 connect that's brand new i put that for 25 on marketplace which is not bad i was just looking those up on ebay and it looks like they sell for closer to 50 if they're still sealed like this one is but i'd rather just deal with getting the cash again it's something i got for free and i did I researched the Xbox One a little more the other day. I took, I didn't take it apart completely, but I took the whole top off of it and I cleaned up the front and the top and dusted out as good as I could, like the fan and stuff inside. You can still see like this side is a little dusty, but that was kind of fun to do. I just didn't want to risk taking it apart more if I don't know exactly what's wrong yet. I did order a power cable off eBay for, it was like 37 with shipping. So I'll be able to test this out, at least see if I can get the disc out or whatnot. Here, I should be getting the power cable on Wednesday in the next couple days. So that'll be cool. And then I'll just need a controller, uh, see what disc is possibly in there. Um, and the Connect, I thought you needed the Xbox One Connect to operate those, but I looked into that more and you apparently you don't, so. Um, those go for 50 ish and I threw that up on eBay, but I've had one person asked me about it last night. Cause it's got like out of everything, I have 40 plus things posted on eBay and the connect sensor for the Xbox one has almost 500 views now, only one watcher. And somebody asked me if it worked and I was honest with them. I'm like, I don't have any way to test it right now. So I don't know, but, uh, I guess I'm just going to leave it up. Maybe if it doesn't sell, then by the time I get the power cord and the controller, I'll, you know, test it out and make sure it does work and then relist it for a few bucks more or something like that. I don't know. It's definitely not something I'm interested in keeping. Like, I'll keep the system and play with that, but I don't want the Kinect camera. And then if you'll see behind me here, my friend Danny gave me these two random... They're like little plastic mustache guy heads that he gave me in the bundle of stuff. And it just so happened to fit perfectly on my Luigi doll and then my Jake stuff plushy too. So I thought they were cool. They're kind of silly. My daughter laughs every time she sees them. So guys just protecting my game collection here basically. And, uh, yeah, sorry for rambling too much. Uh, I guess on the last note, I need to think of, I don't know how much input I'll have because I know it's mostly my family and stuff that watches this, but trying to think of like a rebranding of my YouTube because I know there's already Nerdvanas out there and I researched it recently thinking of like a business for myself and Nerdvana has been trademarked about five years ago. There's a cafe in San Francisco called Nerdvana. So I've been thinking of different names for myself and trying to come up with something. But I thought... Possibly before I even started and I might have mentioned this months ago before about calling myself the ghetto gamer because I'm not really like I don't edit my videos which I know might hurt my subscription base or viewers because it's kind of lackluster but maybe I'll get there someday and uh, yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now and thanks for watching everybody have a good start to your week peace out.